Thank you, Mark, for giving us the opportunity. And when I say us, I mean wet shavers to the rescue. The opportunity to help out a fellow brother, a fellow shaver. And uh, that, today, Danny Hazard, today is your day. And on behalf of wet shavers to the rescue, we're speaking up and we're going to live up to our word and I've heard your story and I'll have to tell you that your story spoke with me it, res it just uh, something about your story spoke to me and I respect that I know that you've been through some difficult times that's for sure um, nobody could question that and uh, nobody can judge it either um, that being said um, I'm sorry for some of the difficult trials that you have gone through in the past and that you're still going through um, at the current and uh, that being said I was pretty amazed to hear that you're a DE shaver and that you had used um, a, like a plastic razor. I was told a Gillette 7 o'clock. Um, so more or less um, a razor that wasn't meant to be used ongoing, but you made it last for a long time. So part of me just thinks that that's really cool. Uh, it tells me a lot about your character as a person um, but we all know that plastic even with the best of intentions um, uh, you're gonna only get a certain number of uses out of uh, that particular design right it, that's what it was intended for um, but you took that and you extended it so my hats off to you for doing that and uh, with that being said I was told that uh, you're in need of, of a good razor um, or just a razor actually <laughs> if it, and uh, Mark brought it to my attention he said hey Rich um, it was brought to my attention he told me the story and um, because Mark was uh, willing to share that with the group wet shavers to the rescue we want to give you something that you will remember for the rest of your life. I never want you to be without a, a razor that will get the job done um, for the rest of your life. So that being said, your days with shaving with an economy razor that was intended uh, to not last half as long as you made it last those days are over okay on behalf of wet shavers to the rescue um, you are well deserving of a razor that from what I could interpret has many of your characteristics and it will serve as a reminder hopefully well beyond and way beyond just a razor for you so let me quickly show you the razor and let me explain to you why uh, Wet Shavers to the Rescue um, decided on this razor for you to enjoy throughout your whole life. So this razor, it has seen its day. It has been through its storms. It's been weathered. It's um, when uh, we got it it looked like it had the stories of a hundred years to tell and it's not a hundred year old razor but it looked like it had had the stories to tell of well beyond its days and I'm sure in your life uh, from what I've gathered you have volumes of stories that you could tell you probably have wisdom beyond your years and and um, and every one of those you've you've earned and um, 
So anyways, on the outside, the razor looked like maybe it, it had, uh, would be a razor that you'd put on the shelf and just say it had, a, you know, would be a representation of the memories of the past. Um, and uh, maybe just be appreciated as a symbol of everything that it made it through, right? Just like you've made it through enormous trials in life and hardships and uh, circumstances and uh, you're still standing strong to this day. That being said, this razor has the same story as you, okay? With a little bit of care and a little bit of attention to detail and a little bit of belief that underneath the outside of that razor which was shouting the stories of uh, uh, its years was a razor that could be just like new from day one and still hold the stories inside of it. Um, and have a whole second life a whole nother lifetime of new stories and so what I did is I took that razor and I polished it and this is what we came up with for you this is a Gillette slim adjustable razor right here you can see the numbers and it's been well polished just like you've been well polished in life. Now being polished in life, that's not always comfortable. Um, when I was polishing this, the heat from the wheel and the friction, even with all the things that I was using to polish it with, it still transferred through and I could feel it. <laughs> so you're going through that same process and I'm sure some, some days aren't that comfortable for you. But, there's no other way. And because of that, this thing shines like you would not believe. It is beautiful. I uh, got it to work functionally perfect, or near perfect. Um, if you can see when I, t or here, it's a silent motion. Which means uh, that it's been well taken care of. I want you to remember a couple of things, Danny. Whenever you use this razor, one, it still shows its unique story and it's obvious that it has a lot of character and that it's it's gained every uh, war story is still inside of it and it wears that as a badge of honor. Um, for what it the adversities that it faced and the adversities that it overcame uh, or has has overcome because you shave you will be reminded every time when you pick up this razor for the rest of your life uh, of what you can learn from this razor and that is you've made it every day through a lifetime of adversities and you're still standing strong you're polished okay if it was me I would never get this replated but that's totally up to you but to me the story and the value and the sentimental value of what this represents is worth more than um, and everyone should have one of these in my opinion for the stories that you learn from this. Now, that being said, everyone loves a brand new, good as day one, you know, finely plated uh, razor as well. But I'm just saying that everyone could learn and a lot of uh, enthusiasts probably have a razor, something like this. This is one that I want you to have. Um, so, be flexible, be adjustable in life to your situations, highly polished, 
Remember, your story is unique and uh, that there's value in it. Also, there's a whole n another life ahead. This is good for another 60 years. Um, make good use of it. Be uh, adjustable, be flexible, stand strong. Be strong as steel. Strong as steel, remember that. If you're ever doubting, this is a representation. Just a reminder when you shave with it. Um, and I hope that it serves you well for the rest of your life. Uh, or as long as you see fit for it to serve its purpose in your life. And uh, if you ever get to the point where the right person comes along that can learn the lessons that this uh, would teach you or represent to you and you want to pay it forward, feel free uh, to pay it forward um, as we're doing uh, for you because you're deserving of it, my friend. So uh, thank you, Danny. Take care and uh, welcome to uh, a brotherhood of uh, wet shaving <laughs> enthusiasts, uh, wet shavers, um, but people that care about you and want you to have something uh, that will always be there to remind you of the things that, that this represents. And there's probably some things that this represents that you'll interpret that only you will be able to um, interpret. But that's what I want to send to you on behalf of Wet Shavers to the Rescue. It's all yours. It's on its way to you. And uh, it's strong as steel. It's well polished. It's got stories for days. It's got a lifetime of stories. And it wears them as a badge of honor for having uh, st stood the test of time and still moving on for another lifetime of shaves. Just like you, you're gonna stand strong for a lifetime of days. Take care, my pleasure. Uh, I hope we get to meet someday. And if not, just uh, I hope this is uh, put to good use for you however you decide that that uh, will be. Take care, buddy.